Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Star Star Wars: The Old Republic. Hey, Tony. I'm talking it right now. Uh, we begin our drum and cost adventure today. First thing I want to do is I was watching a video and I saw that there's a holocron in here, so I want to get it because I don't think I've ever got this one before. This way, I believe. Ah, the importance of other people's channels. They're so smart. What would I do without other people? Yep, there it is right there. Supposedly it's pretty easy to get. I never saw that before. Very nice. Well, not that I think she'll ever see this, but thank you, Swatoria. Such a smart girl. Discovered how to key bind my heroic moment and all the associated abilities. Put them on my effing keys. Those would be my effing abilities. When I'm in danger, I'll use my effing abilities. I'm Commander Ryland, my lord. I apologize for my abruptness, but I'm afraid I must request assistance with an emergency. Something is stirring up the jungle beasts, which makes the route between here and Cast City hazardous. Several individuals traveling on foot have disappeared. I've even had reports of jungle beasts attacking speeders. This seems trivial. The galaxy is a harsh place. One of the speeders that was attacked belonged to an admiral. She escaped serious injury, but the situation demands immediate action. I dispatched two commando teams into the jungle to clear out the beasts, but they never returned. An emergency hollow message came through from one of the team leaders. I'll play it for you. Repeat. Landing beacons are emitting some kind of energy. Power surges are driving the beasts mad. Can't get close enough to reroute power. Lost my team. Beasts closing in. Need reinforced. Ah! Sensors confirm unusual energy readings in the jungle. The spaceport's landing beacons appear to be the cause. How could landing beacons affect the creatures? If a beacon's energy signature has been altered, the sonic frequency could be extremely disruptive to a creature's nervous system. I hesitate to ask, my lord, but if you reroute power on those landing beacons, the Empire will be most grateful. I'll track your progress from here. Return when you're done. Good luck. The jungle predators are fierce. 
Beasties, you say. All right, come on, bet. Another data crown up there, but I, I got that one a long time ago. But I'll show off where it is anyway, just in case somebody doesn't know. But if you really want to find them, then uh, probably watch Swatoria. Yeah, she's got them all known by heart. Back here up the, up the road a bit. It's a nice spot too. I've seen a lot of players gather here just to hang out. Nice waterfall. It is. I already got this one. So if you don't have them yet, that's two right away. Okay, I guess I got all the beasties. Welcome back, my lord. Sensors indicate you rerouted power to all the landing beacons. Analysis indicates they were deliberately sabotaged to drive the jungle beasts insane. I am transmitting a full report to Karth City. Please accept this and my deepest gratitude, my lord. I bid you good day. More 
quickie experience over here. Why are you blocking this road, soldier? When the speeders were pulled off the line, people started braving the deeper jungle, trying to make it to Cass City on foot. Had a few deaths, some of them VIPs. Captain Tolto sent us to keep people out and poke around a bit, see what's out there. It's nice to see the Empire protecting its citizens. Yes. Some assignments are definitely better than others. We managed to take some data readings, even some hollows. Big nasty critters out there, nothing to mess with. Our runner, unfortunately, is down a leg from the experience. If you're headed back towards the spaceport, could you give the observation disc to Captain Tolto? I have a few moments I can spare. Appreciate it. The sooner he knows what's going on, the sooner we can warn people. Watch the scenery so much they bounce into things. I have a report for you, Captain. It seems there are monsters in the jungle. Thank you, my lord. You do us all a great honor by taking notice of our problems. This is what I needed. I'll start moving to warn everyone off that path until we can get some full cleanup squads. And I know I could ride a speeder to Cost City, but there's stuff to do along the way, so I might as well do it. Guys, back in the day, you used to have to. You weren't allowed to use the speeders until you discovered the destination. Things are way too easy these days. Oh, you know what? I never picked up the heroics. I think there's a Mandalorian camp over there. Something. I don't know why they hide this terminal way over in the trees over here, but... Grab them all. You never know. I already out leveled any of the rewards, but they're they're fun to do. Love this planet. About as much as I love Korriban. Do I have to fight these guys? Not too bad. They don't seem to be part of what I need, but... I think I have to kill these Mandalorians, though.
should be okay as long as I don't have to fight more than two of them. They're low level, but they hit pretty hard. Welcome back. Yeah, OBS had a, an encoding issue back at the Mandalorian camp right after I took out the boss, collected the reward, and then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, then I picked up a quest on the way and drove to Dramakas City and uh, had a look around, and then I picked up the Stronghold quest, and then I went to visit uh, the the Dramon Ka Stronghold. My uh my first character already had that. We went to visit it. Show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> Obviously it didn't record. Yeah, I thought there was just a problem with the game because the game froze while uh OBS was crashing and I didn't realize it. Anyway, no kitten. Not a good time. Stuff. Um, the crafting material. Huh. 
put those, uh... What's it for? Print fragments? I guess we'll sell all that, I guess. More mail. What is this? Why do I keep getting mail? What? More? Can you give me any more? Yeah, I never uh, did much decorating. So many years ago. I just put these droids everywhere to fill up the place. I didn't have much in the way of decorations. Set this room up for crafting and storage and mail and ETN access. Crafting station. I don't know what that's for. I'll figure it out. the garage. Speeder collection. This is my second favorite speeder in the game. It's the one that Darth Maul used in Phantom Menace. They still got a lot of decorating to do. I don't have a lot of stuff because I only got up to uh, Shadow of Revan. I don't have the other expansions yet. And after I finished uh, playing through the Shadow of Revan once, I kind of stopped playing Swotor for a while. This is a Dark Side Speeder. Got to be Dark Side 5 to get this. Pretty cool my favorite speeder. The only other room that's really decorated is this one here. Not much. Another GTN thing here. My Tauntaun. These are all empty. I unlocked everything right away, but I didn't have enough decorations to do anything. Well, that's about it. Pretty lame, I know. Hey, HK, long time no see, buddy. That's about it. That's all she wrote. Finish decorating it at some point. Now, other than that, I just picked up a bunch of quests. Nothing special, you didn't really miss anything. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Ready for departure. Thought I had a quest over here. Enjoy your stay. The chasm. Thickened up the smoke a little bit over there. Yeah, I do have a quest here. I've got a shuttle to catch. You mind getting out of my way? In a hurry to leave, are you? You've been found guilty of murder, Renegade. Any last words? Hang on. 
I haven't murdered anybody, at least not the people you think I killed. You've been listening to Wrightson. Great. Listen, I didn't murder anybody. I was just hired to tag some random citizens, that's all. You admit you were mixed up in these brutal murders, then? No! I never touched any of those victims. My clients did all the killings. I was hired by a group of Sith to organize games for them. Didn't realize what that meant until bodies started piling up. When I confronted them, they laughed. Said Sith have a birthright to hunt lowlifes. It's like a sport to them. What's your point? I'd rather face an armed and dangerous foe. A battle without honor is no battle at all. Glad somebody still understands that. I'm in over my head and too many people are watching me now. So I can't even leave. I need help. And I'm willing to pay for it. You interested? Tell me what I can do for you. I just want this problem to go away. And I only see two ways for that to happen. Either get rid of the loudmouth pointing fingers at me, or end that sick game the Sith are playing. I'll eliminate the man who sent me. Never liked him anyway. <laughs> Poor scum. Should have minded his own business. Take this hunter tag. Use it on that nosy scumbag. He'll become my client's new target. When you're done, come back here. And I'll have your payment ready. How can you just pay me up front? I'm gonna take two speeder rides? Enjoy your stay. Such a lovely city. money from that guy. A lot of people on common cost today. Like three instances full of people. Destination? Enjoy your stay. That screaming idiot, huh? Only a matter of time before the Sith pounce on him. It's not gonna be pretty. Doesn't bother you getting that guy killed? I'm just relaying information. I tried to tell myself the same thing about those other victims. I'm not happy, but it was either him or me. He should have kept his mouth shut. Here, this is every credit I have. Thanks for the help. Only had 400 credits? Ready for departure. Uh, let's see. Where to? Oh, I guess we could go back to the station. Do the class Enjoy thing first. Stay. Have a nice ride through Dramakos. Such beautiful weather all the time. I love it here. Picked up that quest.
may seem a little boring to a lot of people, but I really like this planet, so I'm going to spend a lot of time here. Somebody will watch it. You don't get a whole lot out of these quests, but there's a lot of a lot of dark side points you can get by doing them, so. So they're definitely worth it. The words aren't anything, but conversations will help. Oh, this is not where we need to go. Cargo port 87. It's not here. It's in the city. Why didn't you guys tell me that? Oh, it's right there. Destination? Enjoy your stay. That's alright. I like the ride anyway. Such a cool looking planet. I should have got off there, huh? Yep. Well, welcome back. OBS crashed on me again this afternoon when I was trying to record. I, uh, it was just a couple seconds for you guys. I c completed the class quest over here. <clears throat> um, but when I was on my way to it, OBS crapped out on me again. So I completed the qu class quest, and then I did this heroic over here where you had to take out the the mercenaries and blow up to three shuttles excuse me and then fight the boss down here in this room so that's very sad I don't know what's up with OBS but I, it was probably because it was so hot today like 90 degrees so anyway I gave up trying to record until, uh, until just now it's now late but it's cooler Get him back. <laughs> well, that was terrible. Ah, oh, what a bad day. So hot today, it was like 90 degrees. I guess my computer didn't want to run OBS and the game at the same time. I 
look at that. I triggered the hero arc. Wonderful. Good thing it replenishes every five minutes. Back in the day, we used to have to wait a half hour. I think it was a half hour. Can use it. Please use all products only as intended. Okay, let's continue on. Be well. So very, very, very sad, very disappointing. But everything should be fine now. Better be fine now. I'm gonna be so sad if it happens again. Let's go to the camp. Follow me. You guys want to take care of them for me? Okay, I'm not going to follow. I've sent three separate expeditions into the Dark Temple. Not one has returned. I can't say for sure what's going on. But people who go in there, they don't come back. And here I thought bravery was a requirement for the Imperial military. Maybe if you think being scared of something that kills Sith is unreasonable. You can survive the Dark Temple. I beg you to do me, and more importantly, the Empire a favor. The expeditions I sent in were looking for specific data. I can spare the manpower. They were slaves, mostly. But the data is essential. What kind of data was it? We were studying a recent increase in seismic activity in the area including possible damage to the temple itself. The slaves from the expeditions were equipped with data pads to store the data they collected. Bring back those data pads. This information's vital to future construction on Drome and Kars. It's not glamorous, but will you help? So, bring you those discs. Uh, not simple enough, I guess. If my time allows. I'll mark the location the expedition last signaled from on your map. It's the best I can do. At last, the Dark Council has answered my petitions and sent a powerful fighting Sith to help secure the temple. 
I'm not here to secure the temple. Of course, I've been ignored again. How stupid <laughs> of me. <laughs> if you're here, however, you must have the authority to enter the Dark Temple. You could still save this planet. You have my attention. The Dark Temple is ancient, built during a previous incarnation of our empire. A thousand years ago, our own emperor buried his enemies here. These enemies remain powerful, even in death, which is why the temple was sealed. But now, something terrible has happened. Some idiot went and woke them up. With the emperor's attention elsewhere, a group of ambitious but ignorant Sith thought to gain power by raiding the temple. They didn't find the relics they sought. Instead, they awoke an ancient Sith Lord, Lord Kallig, and their expedition plunged into madness. What was this expedition? How many people were lost? At least a hundred. Several Sith, slaves, soldiers, experts. All stupid. Because Lord Kallig died by ambush, I believe he awakened unaware of his own death, and his expectations became reality for those around him. His power overwhelmed all inside the temple. And even now the workers plot wars against each other, believing themselves Sith Lords, and drawing terrible power from Kellig himself. I'm quickly losing interest. You are lucky I have no other to turn to in this dark time. There are still more ancient Sith Lords whose spirits lay dormant in the temple. If the ancient Sith Lords are woken by the violence within, they could overrun the Roman Kars. Let's keep them napping. I have studied all of the burial chambers within. Each was made with the same ancient design, one we can exploit. If you fuse the 500 kilogram hinges on each tomb door, even a violent assault should not be able to wake the ancients. What would have to be done? The team I sent in earlier was using a massive metal torch. Effective, but slow, I'm afraid. They did not make it far. The torch must be recovered, and the doors of the ancients sealed. Alrighty then. Ooh, you've got mail. Oh, more decorations. It's just gonna keep coming every ten minutes, or what? <laughs> 